Welcome back, everybody. This is DC United States, your host, Vic, speaking. Today, we're going to talk about how oh, the turn of Kansas, state of Kansas, top 10 super cities in Kansas. And we're going to go from number 10, like we always do, all the way to number one in the list. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment if you like my video. We are a growing channel. And we're going to start with number 10 in our list. All right, number 10 is the city of Lenexa, Kansas. With a population of 54,349, the violent crime rate here is at 107, and the non-violent crime rate here is at 838. So not bad for a large, large city. The uh, Lenexa sits in the 32.30% uh, mark below national crime rate, and below the state uh, crime rate is at 43.42. Last, last but not least, the Lenexa located in Johnson County. Uh, Lenexa is by far the most populated city in our list. Lenexa is known as a city of festivals and for good reasons. There's always multiple festivals and events happening in the city each month, ranging from movie nights, chili challenges, and poetry festivals. If you need some downtime, downtime Lenexa has over 30 parks, uh, perfect for couch walks and hikes. So if you enjoy safety, you like to do a lot of things, you like activities for the family and all that, this is the place for you guys. All right, now we're gonna move to number nine, Payola, Kansas. Payola, Kansas sits at a population, of, has a population of 5,574 people. The violent crime rate here is at four and the non-violent crime rate here is at 134. Payola, it's at 3.61%, below national crime rate so uh, it's okay compared to other places but no bueno but still good because it's at 19.43 percent below the state crime rate that's P paola kansas paola is the is the county seat of miami county located southwest of kansas city so if you want to be you know you want to have some decent amount of safety and not far away from the kansas city area this is the place for you guys all right, number eight, number OSHA on the list, we got Emporia, Kansas. Emporia, Kansas has a population of 24,698 people. The violent crime rate in 2023 here was 28, and the non-violent crime rate here in 2023 was 429. Uh, Emporia sits at 27.69% below the national crime rate and at 39.79% below the state crime rate. Moving to number seven, we got Bel Air, Bel Air, uh, Kansas. It has a population of 8,092. The violent crime rate here is at eight, and the non violent crime rate here is at 156. So it keeps improving. Uh, Bel Air sits at 21.09 below national crime rate and at 34.05 below the state crime rate. Belair is a city in Segui County in the suburb of Wichita. Number six on our list, we got Ulysses, Ulysses, Kansas. Ulysses, Kansas has a population of 50, uh, sorry, 5,878 people. The violent crime rate here is at 10, and the non-violent crime rate here is at 48. So the list, the list keeps improving when it comes to the factors such as crime, um, the violent crime and the um, crime rate index here is really good you guys are gonna like it uh, Lisa has a crime index here at 61.58 below the national crime rate and at 67.89 below the state crime rate named after Lisa's ace uh, as grant the city of Ulysses is the county seat of Grant County Founded in 1885, Ulysses did not become incorporated into Kansas until, until 1921. One of Ulysses' most notable features is the main artery, a 7,000 square foot gallery of Main Street that includes 25 artists and 20 vendors. Adults and children alike and will enjoy the art workshops and seasonal displays. Alright, we're going to move on to number 5. We got Mac Person, Kansas. Uh, Mount Preston, Kansas has a lot of, about double or triple the population of Ulysses. It has a population of 13,211. Mac Parson enjoys a low crime, violent crime rate of 23 and a low non-violent crime rate of 21. 
Mac Parson is one of the safest cities in Kansas because it enjoys 80, it's at 87 below the national crime rate and at 89.20 below the state crime rate. Um, Mark Parson is located north of Wichita, so not far from Wichita, if you ever want to live in that area. All right, we're going to go to the famous little city of Leewood, Kansas. A lot of rich people out there. A lot of wealthy, upper middle class to high, higher class people. Leewood has a population of 35,070 people. It enjoys a violent crime rate of 27 and a non-violent crime rate of 543. Leewood uh, sits at 36.72 below the national crime rate and at 47.11% below the state crime rate. Leewood is one of the most popular cities in our list. Incorporated in, incorporated, uh, uh, this is a Johnson County city, has a particularly low violent crime rate with 0.7 violent crime, crimes committed per capita. The affluent city, a median household income of 134,000 and a median home value of 390,000. So, I mean, the homes are still decently priced. I mean, we got worse areas in the country. All right, we're going to move now to number three. We're going to Bisa Horde, Bisa Horde, uh, Kansas. I hope I'm pronouncing it well. Bisa Horde, Kansas has a total population of 6,239 6, and a violent crime rate of seven. The non-violent, uh, the non-violent crime rate here, it's at 68. Bisa Horde has uh, a crime index of 53.20 percent below national crime rate and 60.88 below the state crime rate approximately approximately 10 miles northwest of Tonganoxi resides the next city in our list Bisa Hora established in 1889 it's a small and affluent city around 6,000 residents who enjoy the suburb safe atmosphere one of the city highlights is Holy Field Vineyard and Winery which produces 19 distinctive wines and open a year round so if you're into wines you want to be far away from the city and you want to be safe this is the place for you your family Right, number two, not so far away from Bisa Hor, we got Tong- Tonganoxie, Kansas. Tonganoxie, Tonganoxie, Kansas has a total population of 5,508. The violent crime rate here is at 6, and the non violent crime here is at 59, so a lot lower than Bisa Hor. The population of both cities are similar, by the way. Uh, Tonganoxie has a crime index of 54.5. Five below national crime rate and at 61.60 below the state crime rate. Located in northeast Kansas, Tonkanasi is in Leavenworth, Leavenworth County. The city gained its name from Chief Tonkanasi, a member of the Delaware Native American tribe that, one, that once called the land home. Several landmarks pay homage to the chief, including Chief Den Park which includes soccer fields, more than one mile trails, and a playground. The average home value here, if you wonder, is around $160,000. You cannot beat that, guys. Come on, where can you where can you find nowadays a house around $160,000 in the safe area in the country? All right, how are we going to number one? We were all waiting for number one. We got Valley Center, Kansas. Valley Center, Kansas has a total population of 7,370. The violent crime rate here is at 6 and the non violent crime rate here is at 83. Valley Center enjoys 52.98 below natural crime rate and 60.70% below the state crime rate. So, the reason why it came first in our list Valley Center, a small city in Segwick County. Valley Center has a long history, originally settled, originally settled in 18. Uh, the 1870s uh, Valley City incorporated into Kansas in 1885 the Valley City is home to several parks which includes amenities such as golf trails and hiking and a splash park for, for the kiddos in addition to its serene atmosphere and high safety marks Valley Center's housing market is fairly affordable with house, houses averaging in the mid 100,000 wow guys there you go 
we got all 10 safest cities in Kansas for 2023. I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment for the operator. And the next state in our list is the state of Kentucky. So stay tuned for the next state of Kentucky. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. See you next.